law. There are 19 states in the United States of America who do not have execution laws. And so being one of the few that does, uh, you would think that this old uh, this is an old law, it's been on the books a long time. That's just not true here in Arkansas. Yeah, th this is a relatively new law put in place in 2015. That's right, because our old law, which was uh, declared unconstitutional back in 2012, was taken off the books. And for years, you know, at the legislature, while I was covering it, there was a debate. Do we even bother putting a new execution law on the books? Um, it was back and forth, and it went from all the way from 2012, 2013, 2014, and it wasn't until 2015 that the Arkansas judiciary made the call, and they decided to go ahead and submit a bill. That bill had overwhelming support in both the House and the Senate. I remember being in some of those testimonies uh, to, where folks would come in, and they were victims' families talking about they, that they were promised justice, and without an execution law, they would never reach the justice that they had been promised by the state. Certainly something that we've seen um, in the last few days as well with folks bringing, oh, there are a lot of support, overwhelming support, and as you mentioned, Roby Bronx poll numbers, well over 60% of Arkansans in favor of executions in the state. Right, you mentioned those families getting justice. We know the family of Deborah Reese was there for the clemency hearing uh, for Liddell Lee, and, and I know that, that this is something that they wanted and, and that they needed, they said, for closure. And so. I just think it's really important to remember that, you know, it's, it's the state's choice. You know, we, we as a society have the ability to change our laws and to choose what laws we are governed under. And uh, the fact that we only a few years ago didn't have an execution law and the fact that we do today based on the support from the community and from the state as a whole and the le elected legislature really goes to show us, you know, that this is, this is the choice of Arkansas to carry out justice in the way that Arkansas sees fit. Right. If you are just now joining us, we are waiting uh, to hear about the execution of Liddell Lee. Uh, the way was cleared, uh, I don't know, about 30 minutes ago by the uh, U.S. Supreme Court. And Janelle, you've been uh, looking through some of those documents and you actually just got off the phone with a representative from I, the Supreme Court. I did. I was really interested to find out. I just tweeted out all of the documents and in all five of them, all it does is list that the order will not be uh, granted. So they, they just denied the stay of the execution. I was curious to find out why there were no dissents in it. Because in the earlier opinions that we found, there were multiple people saying that they would have granted a stay. In the McGee case, uh, Justice Breyer wrote a very long dissent in the McGee case. He was the one who famously wrote a dissent in the Glossop opinion, which was the very last execution case to even go to the Supreme Court. And so he wrote a very long dissent saying that he was concerned about the nature oh, of second. Arkansas, the, the litigation that's going through, the confusing stuff that we've been talking about all night. Justice Breyer agreed. He said it was too much at that time. Um, so I was really curious to find out why they didn't list how many people voted for or against right. it. Right. Uh, the execution of Leo Adele was supposed to take place. Sometimes I got a video for the other they just choose not to do that. They do Once the pop up, no matter away. what I do. And they, they know what it is, but they will never release to the public what that vote was. So we will never know. That's true. All right. Thanks, Janelle. We want to go back out now to uh, Cummins, where uh, Chris May is standing by. Chris. Uh, but, you know, Beth, I'd love to ask Janelle a question, too, if, if I could. You know, talking about, uh, t talking about how this is a, a legislative process, uh, the, the, the death penalty in Arkansas, Considering the problems uh, that we right. have had, um, uh, that they have had, uh, the state of Arkansas moving forward with these executions, to put uh, some Janelle, video do you think on there's, there. there's going to be any move by the legislature to, to amend the law, to change Back how they go to... about uh, executing uh, uh, prisoners in Arkansas? You know, there is some leeway in the current law that's in place right now. The problem with the last law that was declared unconstitutional is that they gave too much leeway. They let the Department of Corrections decide exactly what the protocol was going to be. That made it easier on the Department of Corrections because they were more easily able to get their hands on the drugs that would have allowed for executions. But the Supreme Court said that was unconstitutional, that the legislature, it is their right. They have to decide they have to choose the drugs. So they made the law and they crafted it at this point with a little bit of leeway in it. 
but not much. You know, the three drug protocol is written in there. They could also go with a pen of barbiturate, but they have to be the ones to say to the Department of Corrections, this is how we want to go forward. It wouldn't surprise me if after all of this, they went back and uh, decided to make some additions to either give a little bit more leeway or, you know, make some corrections to the law. Our but, firing uh, squad. At this point, it is what it is. They have their, uh, their directive directly from the state legislature.